Greetings, parents, families, alumni, community partners, city schools, guests, and our beloved graduating class of 2020. There could not have been another graduating class that could have withstood the significant school and societal changes throughout their four years of high school than this class, obviously ordained by nature for this path. This class includes Forest Park students who, as freshmen, did not have a home, but shared a building with their future colleagues. The ambitious Forest Park sophomore class of 2020 merged with the robust and resilient Northwestern sophomore class of 2020 with grace and flexibility and defiance of the predictions that the merger would not work. Only in attire, not formally, did they combine their names and mascots, celebrating traditions of two historical school foundations for the city of Baltimore, calling themselves North Park, as a symbol of their unity. In an August 2017 preseason news article in the sports section of the Baltimore Sun, North Park football players shared with scholar athletes from both anchor schools that there was no rivalry between them as they joined their coaches with highly stacked fists to chant their team's pride in another team huddle. As juniors, the now powerhouse Forest Park class of 2020, united and once again moved, hauled, cleaned, packed, and unpacked with urgent expediency to be physically prepared for the first day of school, scheduled with only two weeks to the day, and many needed items not yet arrived. Just when Forest Park stakeholders would consider dubbing the class of 2020 the first full-fledged Knights of the Forest, having stood tall amidst it all, shining like armor, the entire world is stricken by an invisible but destructive organism. The hands of time could not have picked another class, girded with as much inner light and power as the Forest Park class of 2020. Mother Nature could not have designed another class that would push forward even amidst a pandemic and finish with grace, pride, fortitude, and unity. This class has combined their deepest, innermost, psychosocial and physiological strength to forge top GPAs earning scholarships, to forge mentors and community servants, altruists and philanthropists, orators and poets, dancers, scholars, collegians, repeat champions, scholar athletes, advocates and protectors, big brothers and big sisters, managers and writers, mathematicians and programmers, technicians and culinary artists, soldiers and trainers, performers and artists, artists, lifeguards, and most importantly, pioneers of this new world life. The class of 2020 has risen to the occasion, set themselves aside to visit, read, and mentor elementary school students, to manage teams. They restarted the Forest Park High School student government. They've accumulated scholarships, rebounded valiantly from lesser life choices, and vowed to exemplify the Forest Park High School standards of excellence for all that follow. Yes, this is the class that walks their talk. And so, my beloved children, a class so dear to my heart for reasons and memories that have transformed all of our worlds. For yours, I share with you finally, the four-stage metamorphosis of the butterfly. And as always, incorporate my charge to you for your life. The time has now for you, in the words of Mac Maxwell, to fly your pretty wings around and lead our communities and families through this time in history as you continue to deliver what it takes to achieve and to finish with excellence. Let nothing bring you fear. And if by chance you question your strength during one of life's many challenges, you remember your four years and let it be a testimony that you can overcome anything and lead others through when light is needed amidst darkness. Continue to be that light and strength for one another. You cannot stop here. You cannot hang your graduation cap and say, I'm done. You must pursue the next level of excellence because your families need you, our communities need you, and you need each other. You must vote. You must vote. I expect college degrees and career certifications from this special class. I expect soldiers and leaders, orators and writers, mathematicians, scientists, service and medical professionals, and artists from this class. I thank you for walking this journey with me and for showing us all what the voices and footsteps of our youth can bring to uplift one another and the downtrodden. I love you and I will miss you dearly and I shall never forget the badge of honor you've earned to celebrate legally, moral, and appropriately when it is safe to do so. Congratulations, our very dear Forest Park High School class of 2020. And in the words of Denise Williams seeing Black Butterfly, I've changed the word black to park. Morning light, silken dream, take flight. 
As the darkness gives way to the dawn, you survived, now your moment has arrived. Now your dream has finally been born. Park butterfly, sailed across the waters. Tell your sons and daughters what the struggle brings. Park butterfly, set the skies on fire. Rise up even higher so the age of winds of time can catch your wings. Buenas tardes, queridos estudiantes y familias. Esperemos que se encuentren bien de salud y que estén en compañía de sus seres queridos. Mi nombre es Adriana Rosas y estoy aquí en nombre de los directores de Forest Park para felicitarlos por haber terminado estos años de éxito y retos de estudio de los cuales estamos muy orgullosos de ustedes. También queremos felicitar a los que han tomado la decisión de ir a la universidad. Y los que tienen que trabajar para apoyar a su familia, los entendemos. Ahora que están jóvenes, es el momento de aprovechar y no dejar que el tiempo te pase para llevar a cabo tus sueños. Les deseamos lo mejor y siempre ten en mente que sí se puede. To the Forest Park High School class of 2020, you are a very special class, not just because you are the class of the coronavirus, but because you were my very first class at Forest Park High School. As much as I've fought it, I have really come to love you guys. I have so many stories about each of you that make you special to me. Memories of you guys that I will always have, field trips, class meetings, and even the prom last year. Some of you really cleaned up well, and I was surprised. They are real personalities in this group. I regret that some other memories we were not able to make this year because of the unprecedented world events. At the beginning of this year, I was actually kind of sad because I knew this day was coming. I'm going to miss you, some of you. Um, I am proud of how far you've come and look forward to your future accomplishments. My hope is that you live up to the Forest Park model. You have entered to learn and now go forth to serve. Greetings, teachers, parents, and the class of 2020. I would just like to give a summative recap of the accomplishments of the members of this graduating class. Currently, there are over 140 graduates, 22 students that have completed a career in technology pathway in their specific field of study. This past year, we had six students that participated in internships during the school day and many more students that worked after school. We have 89 students that have been accepted to at least one, two, or four post-secondary institutions. We have 21 students that have signed up to receive workforce training beginning this July. Currently, seniors have been awarded over $1.2 million in scholarships and financial awards for college. We have students at the park that have graduated and defied the odds of being from single-family, minority, low-income, immigrant, or first-generation high school graduates. I can't forget the student parents that continue to persevere while having additional obligations. None of those barriers have stopped what you have achieved here today, which is graduation. It has been an honor and a privilege to serve as your school counselor and in many cases your advocate this school year. I've seen many of you grow and become advocates of your own education and futures. You have gained the tools to move forward and take your next steps. Of course, the majority of you didn't do it alone. I would be remiss if I did not recognize your teachers at the park, your administrators, and your college-bound advisor for their everlasting support of your academic, athletic, and other abilities. Next, I would like to thank your parents, guardians, and family members that had your back for these last 18 or 19 years. Lastly, I would like for you to thank yourselves for never quitting when the road got tough or when Mrs. White said you needed another credit, another test, or even night school. You all have come a mighty long way. You have all continued to strive despite 9-11, a global pandemic, and the numerous obstacles you may have faced as a black or minority student in this country. After these last few months, I am confident that no obstacle is too big for you to cross. To quote Albert Einstein, life is like a bicycle. To keep your balance, you have to keep moving. After today, I expect you all to move forward and keep going. Find your balance and ride ahead. There is work to be done and communities that need a voice, communities that need your support, communities that simply need you. 
Once again, congratulations on this great milestone. Class of 2020, I'm extremely proud of you. Thank you. Distinguished guests and graduates, here's a brief bio of our Class of 2020 commencement speaker, Dr. Ian Andre Roberts. Dr. Ian Roberts served as Chief of Schools Officer of Aspire Public Schools, a college preparatory district where he led the team of superintendents serving schools in Los Angeles, the Bay Area, the Central Valley, and Memphis. His work was anchored in providing contrarian and courageous, culturally responsive, quality, and equity-focused leadership that prepared every student for college from pre-K through 12th grade. Prior to this role, he served as the high school's network superintendent with St. Louis Public Schools, where he coached, supported, and evaluated high school and alternative schools principals, providing them with intensive coaching for effectiveness, excellence in student and teacher achievement outcomes, and cultural responsiveness, rather than for compliance. He previously served as a school turnaround principal and principal manager in Baltimore City, Washington, D.C., and the South Bronx, New York, where he and his team of teachers, staff, and the community and school leaders successfully turned around those schools as measured by student academic and behavioral achievement, college acceptances, teacher retention, and reductions in issues of equity and disproportionality. Ian Roberts is a pivotal intellectual voice in the K-12 arena, offering expertise in equity, culturally responsive leadership, and school turnaround, and is sought after throughout the United States and internationally to speak and lead sessions for organizational leaders. He is the author of three books on leadership. Prior to becoming a principal, district leader, and district tra leadership trainer, Ian was a commissioned military officer and world-class and Olympic athlete, competing in track and field at the 2000 Olympic Games in Sydney, Australia, and world championships in Meibashi, Japan, and Seville, Spain. Ladies and gentlemen, Distinguished guests, now our 2020 commencement speaker, Dr. Ian Andre Roberts. Spain. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, now our 2020 com now our 2020 commencement speaker, Dr. Ian speaker, Dr. Ian Andre Roberts. Forest Park High School, the graduating class of 2020. It is with immense gratification and a sense of personal pride that I bring you greetings today on this auspicious occasion of your high school graduation and to leave you with a simple message. A message that says you should never, never, never give your pen to someone else because they will take it and write your story. Graduation from high school is a momentous occasion. It is a time when you deserve to be celebrated, highlighted, magnified. It is a time when your journey for the past four years should be recapitulated with fun memories and some memories that are not so fun, but it's all a part of your story. You see, I'm immensely gratified and come to you with pride because gratitude has to be expressed on my behalf whenever I am afforded an opportunity to engage with, encourage, or inspire youth of Baltimore City, my home away from home. And pride because Forest Park High School is the school, the very first school in the city of Baltimore where I served as a teacher. Class of 2020, you will forever remember your maturity, 
from 9 to 12 grade. You may remember the challenges of entering a school community during your first two years when you merged with Northwestern High School. A community where there were adults who were boisterous and, and, and biased and even prejudiced. When there were community members who displayed actions that many others would have folded or thrown in the towel. But you, your teachers and your leaders, with your spirit of resilience, you persevered. And here you are today. You remember the first time you, you had a broken heart as a high school student, or you thought you did. You may even remember submitting last minute assignments to teachers, some of whom you knew for a fact would only give you the grade that you deserved. You will certainly remember your North Park experience, as you so affectionately named the collaboration. The fact that your class leaders, your valedictorian and salutatorian, Donsha Jones and Tiana Bible, are representative of both schools, has so much divine intervention written all over it. You see, this moment of graduation creates opportunity for you to elevate your game, class of 2020. It creates an opportunity for you to act, activate your intellectual horsepower and, and your academic capacity and for you to magnify that magic that exists in each of your melanated brown bodies and skin. And as you do so every step along this way, remember that your story should be protected because if someone else takes your pen, they will do nothing but write a pernicious narrative, one that you do not want to have along your journey. Class of 2020, as you graduate today, you are all on assignment. You see, once you cross this virtual stage and you receive your diploma from Principal Daly, your assignment is, is, is to make sure that your pen not only remains tightly gripped in your hands, but your assignment includes being, being, being a melanated person in this country at a time such as this. Your assignment is to make sure that you are continuously elevating your voice through activism, through intelligence, through community engagement and through your professional pursuits. You see, your assignment depends on your ability to enjoy the most important element on the periodic table, the most important element to black people that is, and that element is oxygen. You see, you have seen and heard of the horrific and often promulgated crimes and atrocities against men and women who look like you, who just wanted oxygen just for a moment so they can breathe. Just so they can be able to say, I can breathe. See, Nelson Mandela reminds us that there can be no keener revelation of a society's soul and the way in which it treats its children. To the auspicious principal of Forest Park High School, the incomparable Monica Daly, you and your phenomenal teachers, teachers such as Coach Jermaine Dunn, you all have revealed in alignment with Nelson Mandela's sayings that what is at the depth of your own souls. There is no doubt that your actions, that your care, that your dedication, commitment, and the empathy you have shown to this class and to their families, which is now a manifestation of this graduation today, speaks to what is at the depth of your souls. Class of 2020, from a distance, I have watched as you skillfully and willingly traversed the partnership with Northwestern High School. We your principal, teachers, the staff, parents and well-wishers, they have all watched as you navigated your first pandemic, our first pandemic, the first in our lifetime. We have watched as you endure, responded, and even activated a fiery and necessary response to the savage inequalities and atrocities levied against black men and women in our communities and in this country. We have watched as you, in spite of those atrocities and other distractions within and around your community, you remain relentlessly focused on the task at hand. Graduation from high school. So here you are today. Your leaders, your administrators, your teachers, your parents and your relatives, believe me, on your journey when you wondered why, why when I was supposed to stumble and fall, I was able to persevere and succeed. Wonder no more, and I can tell you why not. Because while you were grinding and going, your parents, teachers and staff and relatives, they all prayed for you. They applauded you, and they stood behind and beside you every step of the way. You see, 
We all prayed for you even when you were not being your best selves. You see, we prayed for you and we give you second chances. I know your principal and administrators and teachers definitely did. They give you multiple chances even when you had given up on yourselves. You see, the prayers especially was important because we realized that we had to cover you. We wanted to make sure that in spite of the errors you may have had, in spite of your shortcomings, as the songwriter and my fraternity brother, Brother Marvin Sapp says, we always saw the best in you when everyone else around could only see the worst in you. To the parents of the class of 2020, just in case you are already making plans to go to Home Depot or Lowe's so you can buy paint and, and to redo and repurpose the room that you cannot wait for them to activate as soon as they walk across the stage, don't make too many plans because believe me, they will come right back at weekends and on holidays. They will ask you for plane tickets to come home from college. And they're coming with the expectation that they will occupy their old rooms. Parents, if you believe that they needed your prayers during the last four years, they will need your prayers and support now in their adult life more than ever. Class of 2020, as you hold on to your pen to write your own story, continue to challenge the status quo. Refuse to be silent about things that are not right or not fair or not equitable. Refuse to be silent because if you remain silent, then you are going to be deemed to be complicit in all of those atrocities that impacts not just your melanated skin, but your journey to success. You see, if you remain silent, this will give many the impression that you were not capable of. Don't be silent because if you remain silent, you are. And you will not be able to oppose those that want to highlight the myth that you are not smart enough, you are not strong enough, you aren't good enough. Do not give them your pen because they will attempt to write your story. You see, class of 2020, we recognize that you are not the generation of UEP Newton, of Angela Davis, of Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X, or even Marcus Garvey. You are the generation that will do much more and accomplish what many thought was impossible. But we know it's inevitable. You will bring us freedom, real freedom, justice, equality, and unprecedented success. Because you will do so not just with a fearlessness and bravery, but you will do so with swag and drip. You see, you are ready for the next phase of your journey because you have navigated the communities of Park Heights and Belvedere and Garson, Drood Park, Mondawmin, Woodlawn, the Walbrook Junction, just amongst others. Our beloved communities, all of which I have enjoyed during my time in Baltimore City. And you have done so with a spirit of resilience, perseverance, grit, and stamina. You will forever be remembered as a class that changed the way that those of us who are leaders in this organization or in education itself, you've inspired us to reinvent, to reimagine, and refocus how we do schooling in the K-12 arena. You will re be remembered as the class that told America that we too, we too deserve the inalienable rights bestowed upon everyone else, regardless of our phenotype or melanated skin. Class of 2020, given your journey over the past four years and your penchant for collaboration, we know that you will change this community, you will change the world, and we are depending on you individually and your collective spirit and contributions to lead us into the next five or 50 years as you hold your pen and write your own story. Indulge me as I just reiterate Principal Daly's message to you, her asks. She wants you to know that you cannot stop here, that you cannot hang on to your graduation caps and say, I am done. You must pers persevere. You must, must pursue the next level of excellence. She wants you to be, look, you have to, you have to continue to go on and go strong. Because according to Principal Daly, our family, our families all over this community need you. Your families need you. Our communities need you. And you need each other. You must vote. You must vote and be active socially. Don't expect that you're going to stop here now. We expect college degrees and career certifications. We expect businesses to be opened. We know that your journey always came with challenges. We know that you had some tough times. You've had some worse times. And as Charles Dickens reminds us, 
in one of your English language and literature readings that it was the best of times and it was the worst of times. Sometimes it was in this age of wisdom and sometimes there was much foolishness. You've endured in the last four years a season of light and sometimes there was a season of darkness. But with you all graduating today, we believe that this is the spring and summer of hope. Today I say to you, class of 2020, these may not be the best of times for us. COVID-19, activism around inequitable treatment of black and brown people throughout the United States. But this is truly a spring of hope because of you. We know that the classes of 2021, 22, and 23 will have big shoes to fill. But it's fine because you're going to model a way for them. And you're going to hold on tightly to your pen and write amazing stories. And when you do so, you will do it with empathy, with conviction, with compassion. You will do it boldly, unapologetically, and you will do it with drip. Congratulations. You are the class of 2020. They're my fellow class of 2020. Now, some of you may know me as Big Baby or Mama Shady, either one, even by my real name. But listen, I won't make this about me. As a class of 2020 valedictorian, I am proud and honored to wish the class of 2020 a big congratulations and a well on each and every one of you guys' amazing life journey. Now I know we are currently under distress dealing with such crazy times, and indeed, it's been crazy. But nothing has changed the fact that this class of all classes remains self-evident that we were built to last. Now for most of us, we were born into a crisis. For some of us, we were, for the beginning of our high school experience, we had unexpected trials and tribulations. So many of us remember two schools in one building back in 2016. They said we couldn't do it. They told us we wouldn't make it, that we wouldn't last a school year in the same building together. Indeed, they labeled us as rivals. But as the former North Park Wildcats and proud forces we are, we've grown to love one another, and a family is indeed what we have become. Now, despite missing the traditional prom and graduation ceremonies and even saying goodbye to the families and teachers and staff we've become accustomed to for the last four years, it's safe to say, class of 2020, that we made it. And when they told us we had to leave our building, many of us had worries. Many left, many came, and many teachers departed. And as we end this chapter, we look back on our good times and our bad times. Now, four years seem like eternity for many of us, and even though it seemed delayed, we continued our run. For if there was a race we were running, we made it to the finish line. My fellow forces, we've made it, we've done it, and we've made our parents proud. As we come to the close, we still remember things that we may never forget. But for our teachers, the one who's carried us when we thought our tanks were OE, and for even the teachers who've come and gone, we thank you. For our close friends and peers, we love you. And for the best principal of our school class at four, we appreciate you. And we're proud to be your last graduating class at Fourth Park. She's been a major key for many of our high school life. But today is the day she does something she never enjoys doing. And that's saying goodbye. No matter how hard it may be for her to let us go, she knows it's for the best. And as she signs off on the diploma, she should feel accomplished. Because she really was the push that kept us going. And last but not least, our families and friends, this isn't the year. We love you. And from the bottom of our hearts, this is just the beginning. Through blood, sweat, and tears, we conquered our fears, and we made it to the end of our years. Class of 2020, we did it, we've done it, and we made it to the finish line. Thank you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tiana Battle. I am proud to announce my status as Class of 2020 salutatorian and president of the Student Government Association. I would like to begin by congratulating all of the graduating seniors and thanking everyone who has helped us along our path to graduating. Without all of the support and encouragement from teachers, coaches, counselors, administrators, friends, families, and our principal, we would not have made it this far. I understand this year has not been what we have expected, beginning with a shorter school year due to the global pandemic. We miss many senior memories, including prom, farewell, senior day, spring sports, and even the chance to walk across the stage for graduation. We concluded the remainder of our high school experience, completing online assignments from home instead of a classroom. 
Despite the challenges we have faced this year, we have maintained our devotion to finishing what we have started. It doesn't seem that long ago that we were just entering high school, and now we are closing a chapter of our lives and beginning a new one. I'm extremely honored to be able to commemorate the memories of our class and to uphold the school motto, enter to learn, go forth to serve. Entering into Forest Park my sophomore year, I was unaware of the experiences and opportunities that I would be given throughout the years. I started out as a shy individual who rarely talked or participated in class discussions. As the years progressed, I had decided to play more sports and join clubs where I became involved in the community of Forest Park. Through this, I was able to gain confidence to speak and lead. I ran for class president where I devoted my time to make Forest Park a better school for generations that follow class of 2020. As student body president, I would like to acknowledge the accomplishments the SGA were able to achieve this year. Beginning with our Pia Teacher Fundraiser, Winter Talent Show, Spirit Week, Pet Rally, Black History Month for the culture event, and field trips that we were successfully able to plan and host. I would like to thank everyone who contributed in the making of these events. Our class has come together in numerous ways and we were able to see each other mature through the years. I wish, I wish each and every one of you success in your near future. As we say, we bleed green. We made it. Class of 2020 out. Eric Aguilera. Deontay Allen. Cameron Alston. Osmar Amaya Diaz. Darlin Ayala, Merritt Scholar. Dorothea Banks. Michael Banks. Tiana Battle, Salutatorian. Makai Belton. Christian Benitez Zelaya. Diamonique Billy. Jasmine Bowens. And Naya Brown. Christopher Brown, Tyree Brown, Kiwan Burnside, Amari Butler, Shayla Bird, Jordan Cahill, LaVon Caldwell, James Carpenter, Elliot Carr, Stephanie Cartagena Diaz, Akeem Carthy, Kathleen Casimir, Dominic Chase, Dominique Connor, Caitlin Conway, Honors, Jawan Cook, Jeremiah Cooper, Honors, Wayne Dargan, Aaron Diggs, Teron Dixon, Kayla Duval, Jalen Fagan, Daquan Ferguson, Marjorie Fernandez Mendez, Honors, Nicholas Fields, Dejanae Freeman, Misha Frisbee, Luden Garcia, Joshua Garris, Destiny Gilmore, Octavia Givens, Davion Goins, Celise Gomez Martinez, Jennifer Gonzalez Perez, Adonis Goods, Nebea Graham, Tanika Gray, Brandon Green, Jennifer Gross, Honors, Josue Guerra Lopez. Amir Hall, Jordan Hall, Xavier Hamilton, Tyler Hardy, Trayvon Harper, Honors, Jay Harris, Raymond Hasselberger, Andre Hawkins, Kennard Herbert, Kendrick Holloway, Tazine Holmes, Thomas Hooks, Tiara Hughley, Tynasia Hunter, Trainia Jackson, Zaire Jamerson, 
Rodolfo John Paul, Brice Johnson, Shade Johnson, Tanasia Johnson, Don Shay Jones, Valedictorian, Marcel Jones, Hawa Kamisoko, Merit Scholar, Jada Kellum, Honored, Shiffon King, Edwin Leva, Rainia Lewis, Frazier Lindsay, Darius Lockman, Shamaya Long, Nina Maccabi, Tepo Malangu, Ayana Martin Honors, Jamal Mason, Daquan McCray, Brianna McDaniel, Desmond McLean, Amari Merritt, Josias Mickens, Jahidi Miller, Honors, Tatiana Nima, Bryant Moody, Jayla Morris, Quivanye Mary Wilson, Nassim Neal, Natoya Neal, Joshua Ofer, Rikia Owens, Deshell Palmer, Shanique Palmer, Merritt Scholar, Sean Parker, Kayla Parker Hill, Javier Perez, Dominique Phillips, Janae Pierce, Honors, Isaiah Pierre, Daniel Plummer L, Hakeem Pollard, Jason Portillo Zelaya, Cabria Pride, Merit Scholar, Precious Prince, Luis Ramos, Michaela Reed, Luis Restituyo Nunez, Justin Rice, Amaya Ross, James Ross, Dante Russell, David Scruggs, Darren Shields, Honor, Afrian Simpson, Merit Scholar, Jessica Sinkler, Deja Smith, Darius Smith, Jerome Smith, Honors, Jada Spears, Mariano Suriano Guerrera, Melissa Tamaval, Gabrielle Velasco Urbina, Taylor Wade, Shamani Waite, Tyson Wallace, Shantae White, Isaiah Wilkie, Davon Williams, Jarrell Williams, Joel Williams Honors, Tashe Williams, Shrillon Winder, Emmanuel Wood. In recognition of the records and achievements of the students of this class, and by virtue of the authority vested in me as principal of Forest Park High School, I certify that these students have met the graduation requirements of both the Baltimore City Public Schools and the Maryland State Department of Education. I take pleasure in recommending to you the graduating class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. This is an amazing milestone. Acknowledging the certification and the recommendation by the principal and by the authority vested in me as Chief Operating Officer, I take pleasure in presenting to you the graduating class of 2020 for the conferring of diplomas. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor of presenting to you Andy Frank, Baltimore City School Board Commissioner. It's particularly special for me to be with you today because both of my parents and all of my aunts and uncles graduated from Forest Park. In recognition of the certification of these graduates and the recommendation of the principal and the acknowledgement of the chief operations officer and by virtue of the authority vested in me as commissioner of the Baltimore City School Board, 
I take great pleasure in accepting the graduating class of 2020 for the conferring of high school diplomas. To Principal Monica Daly, the keynote speaker, to administrative staff, the faculty, to the families and friends, to the underclassmen and all the viewers, and to my fellow alumni, especially the graduating class of 2020, I could not be prouder. Completing the requirements of graduation is hard enough, but you've done it under truly unprecedented circumstances. Congratulations. First, giving honor to the creator of the universe for making all of this possible. For us to have our health and strength and to be in great spirits to enjoy this wonderful day of celebration. Secondly, on behalf of President Kenneth Cloud, the class of 1970, the officers and members of the officers and the members of the Forest Park Alumni Association, we bring you greetings and congratulations, along with hugs and handshakes on this occasion of your commencement. Although your time as Forest Park has come to a close, we now get to further exemplify the meaning of our school's motto. Enter to learn, go forth to serve. Through hard, faithful, and diligent work, you have met and exceeded the expectations and requirements of your parents, your guardians, your teachers, the Baltimore City Public School System, and the state of Maryland. This is why you're now clothed in the proud colors of the Forest Park High School. You have merited the honor which has been conferred upon you and the confidence we possess in you. This is the beginning of a new chapter in your life's journey, adulthood. No matter where you go or what you do, the road you choose or the path you follow, please move wisely, stay safe, healthy and strong. In the pursuit of your goals, I know you will. You'll make new friends and travels. Make sure you always let your voice be heard and thrive to be your very best. Making sure that you always do your very best. May I make a further suggestion? If you haven't registered to vote, do so. Then vote in all elections. The power of casting your ballot will reveal itself over your lifetime. In conclusion, to you, Principal Daly, we are saddened and disappointed to hear and know that, realizing that you will not be returning to our beloved alma mater. We want to congratulate you and thank you for all that you have done. Your time, efforts, and dedication to the task as principal, you have set a high bar with your many achievements and the accomplishments over your tenure here at Forest Park. It has been a pleasure working with you and we wish you God's speed. To our honorees, you know, the class of 2020, I leave this with you. You can look, but you can't look back. You can come back, you can give back. Please keep the school in your heart, the lessons that you learned, the sports that you played, and the friendships that you made. Your story matters, your vision matters, Black Lives Matter. Your Alumni Association awaits your return. We meet the first Monday of each month at 6 p.m. with the exception of July, August, and December. We meet at the school. We love you. We look forward to hearing and seeing great things from you. May peace and blessings be upon you. Now do me a favor, please rise and take this oath. Please raise your right hand and state your name in full and repeat after me. I have met the mission, vision, and goals that show the path that we shall climb. O Forest Park, we give you the vow to God the gleam revealed us now to hold our gleaming standards high. We came to learn, we now go forth. Our, we go forth in our deeds, so show our inner worth. We pledge our love and loyalty to you. Your faith will lead in everything we do. Hail to the green and gray. Congratulations, you are now inducted into the Forest Park High School Alumni Association. 
by the power invested in our president, Kenneth Cloud, class of 1970, our vice president, Lisa K. Ross Brown, class of 1984. And it has been my true honor to be your presenter today. My name is Paul Franklin, and I'm from the class of 1984. Again, congratulations.